Ladies and gentlemen, the Heisman race is over. After Saturday's performance against the Georgia Bulldogs, you can now officially put your bets on Jalen Milrow winning the Heisman Trophy. It's over with, ladies and gentlemen. The Heisman votes have already been placed. They're already off to New York. You can already book your plane tickets to New York to go watch Jalen lift up the Heisman Trophy. He will be the second Alabama player of this decade to be holding the Heisman Trophy. And we're going to be talking about that and why it's already time to end the Heisman Trophy race. Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? My name is Lucas Hill here of SEC Unfiltered. Make sure you follow us on every social media platform, whether it be Instagram, Facebook, X, or TikTok. Find us on there for all the latest content from us here at SEC Unfiltered. Also, make sure you like, share, and subscribe for more from us here at SEC Unfiltered. And today's video, as usual, has been brought to you by our good friends over at MyBookie. Go on over to MyBookie.ag and use the code SECU at initial sign-up to receive a special welcome offer where you make your first deposit. That's code SECU for that special welcome offer. Guys, it's, it's over with. And I'm just telling you right now it's over with. Why do I say that? Okay. Have you? When was the last time? Going up against one of the best defenses in the nation. Going up against a defense that <clears throat> literally has been known to get after quarterbacks. That literally has done this day in and day out. Has made Heisman-like quarterbacks look miserable. That the last time that these two met, Jalen Milrow, he played well. <clears throat> but he didn't have a performance like this. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen. It's hard to say that Jalen Milrow has won the – it's hard to say that Jalen Milrow has not yet won the Heisman race. When – this is your final stat line. 27 of 33, 374, two scores, the one interception. We'll ignore that. We'll forgive it. A 98.5% or a 98.5 QB rating to go along with 16 carries, 117 yards to go along with a pair of scores. So when was the last time we saw a performance like this that people knew that you were going to win the Heisman Trophy? Well, for me, it, you have to go back to when Cam Newton played LSU in 2010. Because this goes off a lot of what Cam Newton did against LSU. Sure, the passing yards weren't there. And because of that, it was hard to say that Cam Newton really did it through on all aspects of the ball. Sure, he was just 10 of 16 for 86 yards. But think about this. He didn't have a Ryan Williams. He didn't have an elite receiver out on the out on the outside. He had Darvin Adams and Terrell Zachary, his two best wide receivers. Who does that Jalen Miller have? Well, he's got arguably the best freshman in all of the SEC, who's a freshman in Ryan Williams who went off for six carry, six catches, 177 yards, and the go-ahead touchdown at the end of the game. Ryan Williams is 17, ladies and gentlemen. If that doesn't tell you anything, let me tell you this. A.J. McCarron could have won the Heisman Trophy with a guy like Amari Cooper and the talent that he had. We have yet to see an Alabama receiver put up these type of numbers as a freshman since Amari Cooper came to town. That is insane to me, and it's unbelievable to say in the least of what Jalen Miller has been able to do with a guy like that on the outside, what he can do, get him out in the open space. When you get him on a go route, he's going to win that route. You can forget it at the end of the day. Yeah, they may have lost another big guy in Isaiah Bond. Who do you replace him with? Well, you got Ryan Williams, and you get a tight end in C.J. Dupree, who's performing at an all-time high, who's a solid tight end. A very good tight end. Who else would you like to say? Well, Justice Haynes had his moments. Jam Miller. Yeah, he might have been shut down, but let me tell you what. If anybody could have stopped Jalen Milrow, it would have been just the turf monster because Georgia goes into this game knowing full and well what Jalen Milrow can do, and they still couldn't stop him. That first quarter, they looked unstoppable. Jalen, that's when I knew the first three drives of the game, 
The first three scoring jobs that Alabama had, you knew Jalen Milrow won the Heisman Trophy then. And then after that last pass to Ryan Williams to, for the go-ahead touchdown, that's when everybody in the country knew that this guy just won the Heisman Trophy right there. In the first three, he drives. You knew. he. All right, now he's definitely in contention. He's getting there. And then that final pass has secured it. It's the only the month of October. We have another two months before the Heisman Trophy ceremony. But you can – look, Heisman voters – you can already send Jalen Milrow his ticket to New York. It's over with. He's already won the Heisman Trophy. It's hard to say that he hasn't well, after he put up that same performance. And I think all this goes back to the LSU game that he had last year. Yeah, it was against a terrible, terrible defense. Yeah, it was against a really bad secondary. But look at what Jalen Milrow has done. I knew coming into this year that Kalen DeBoer was going to help him enhance his game, getting more involved in the pass game, and not have him use his legs as much. But I didn't expect this type of numbers. I didn't expect him to put almost 500 yards of total offense by himself against one of the top defenses in the SEC over the last five years, against a Kirby Smart defense. That's unbelievable to me. And that just goes to show you what type of talent this kid is. From everything that he's been through, going back to last year when he got benched, wasn't a consistent quarterback. Then he comes back the very next week. He doesn't let it affect him. He goes right back to work. Leads him all the way to the SEC title. Beats a good Georgia team that could have gone for three in a row. And now you get the big win this year after all that happened last year from you bench, you get bunt, benched, to the high of winning the SEC, to the low of losing, to Michigan in the Rose Bowl, where I'll be honest, I thought Jalen Miller had arguably a worse performance than he did against Texas. And then you come back this very next year with a brand new coach, with a brand new offensive system that you weren't sure about at the beginning of the year, and now you're starting to thrive in it. You're starting to thrive in the Kalen DeBoer offense. Look, Kalen DeBoer's quarterbacks have been amazing. You saw what he did with Michael Penix last year. Yeah, Penix was a pocket quarterback and he was a pro-style quarterback. But when you get an athlete like Jalen Milrow, that you can enhance his game to help him throw the deep ball, that you can have him have a rocket of an arm, that's going to speak volumes at the end of the day for every NFL scout that's watching him, despite all that he has, despite all of his deficits. Guys, this is a dang good quarterback. This is a dang good quarterback. And the stats will say otherwise just with the little numbers that he's put in the passing game for the first three games. You understand that these have all been blowouts. 63-0, 42-16, 42-10, and then you put up another 40 against Georgia. I, it's been a while since Georgia's given up 30 or more. And for them to do that against Kirby Smart's defense is awesome. That's amazing to me. This guy is on pace to potentially – do so much more than what he did last year. He's on pace to potentially score or 35 total touchdowns running and throwing as well. Guys, his completion percentage is through the roof now. He's a much better quarterback than he was last year, and he's going to continue to prove that as the season goes on. That's why the high spin race is over with now, because he's only going to get better from here. He's not going to have a drop-off. He's going to put up gaudy numbers against Vanderbilt. And guess what? He's only playing a half of football. If that. Alabama's the most dangerous team in the SEC right now. And if you catch them on a bad day, it's over with for you. He's already secured the Heisman Trophy. That's it for you. Yeah, you got a three-game stretch where you go to Tennessee. Yeah, you play Missouri. Yeah, you play LSU. They're not stopping Jalen Milrow. After what he did, you think a spy is just going to stop him? You think putting pressure on him is going to stop him? You do realize you got to keep him in the pocket. You can't overrush him because when he steps up, that's when it's over with. When he sees that open hole in the middle of the field, he's going to take it and run. Kalen DeBoer is letting Jalen Milrow be Jalen Milrow, but he's also adding little trinkets to his game to continue to get him playing at a high level and continuing to get him 
to play at the best of his ability. And I guarantee you at the end of the day, he's going to be better than what people believe. What else did I miss about Jalen Milrow? Let me know what you guys' thoughts in the comments down below. Is the Heisman race over, or is there still contention between him, between Cam Ward, between Travis Hunter, between Ashton Gentry, Nico Ayamayalava, or did the Heisman race end on Saturday? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And for more from us here at SCC Unfiltered, visit sccunfiltered.com. Check out the podcast version of this episode. And for more articles and analysis from the best staff and the best SEC entity on the internet.